Welcome back and today's video has to answer just one simple question. Why not? Why not learn how to make your own homemade mayo that you can just whip uh, whenever you need it and add to your dishes that you would normally use store-bought mayo from. So in today's video I'm gonna share with you how to make a quick uh, affordable uh, actually no it's cheap let's call it what it is quick cheap and delicious mayo alternative to what you can buy from the store I wasn't lying when I said that it's gonna be easy and cheap to make because the only ingredients of this homemade mayo are eggs oil salt and lemon juice of course you're gonna need a large bowl and a wooden spoon if you're gonna decide to do it by hand but if not uh, you can always use a hand mixer this specific batch requires four eggs two hard-boiled and two raw uh, out of these four eggs we will only use the egg yolks because that's the base for the mayo for the emulsion uh, but don't worry the egg whites uh, both the raw and the cooked ones they can be used in other dishes so don't don't throw them away by any means just keep the egg whites in the fridge until you need them for an omelette or for a pastry and uh, the the cooked egg whites well you can even add them to a salad or anything or just eat them like that be a savage you know just gulp on some uh, <laughs> cooked egg whites for the oil i use sunflower oil just because uh, throughout my whole life my family used sunflower oil uh, but i think any any uh, household basic oil will do like corn oil or, or canola oil I would just stay away from using expensive um, more healthy oils like uh, olive oil or almond oil or avocado oil you know keep those um, um, luxury items for, for salads for, for their intended benefit not to make mayo unless you're Rockefeller then do whatever you want the lemon juice has two roles one it's going to add um, a tangy flavor to the mayo that's going to make it uh, really palatable and second of all at some point in the process the mayo is going to become very thick so by adding uh, a couple of teaspoons of this lemon juice either fresh or bottled like i'm using now you will thin out the mayo making it very creamy and um, you know just a joy to work with when you add it to other dishes before we begin, I want to emphasize on using a large deep bowl. And this is because in the early stages of the process, by using oil before it emulsifies, um, the oil will splash. And we don't want to cover or stain everything on your table or on your working space with oil because that's a bad stain that's going to take a lot of work to take out. So get yourself a deep large bowl and no matter if you're using a hand mixer or you're going to do it by hand um, keep a wooden spoon next to you because it's going to be very important right now and by right now i mean we're starting the process so in that large bowl that i mentioned add the cooked egg yolks and the raw egg yolks and with the wooden spoon start mushing or, or crushing the cooked egg yolks because they're going to um, they're going to crumble and we want to make the cooked egg yolks as pasty and as crumbled as possible because this is going to help with the mayo making or emulsifying the whole process it takes a bit of patience but uh, literally in one minute if you move quickly you're done with this step and this is where you can diverge you can move from making it by hand to making it with a mixer but regardless of which process you're going to do start mixing the raw and cooked egg yolks after you've crushed the cooked ones and slowly add oil don't rush this process this is very important to take your time and add a maximum of uh, 30 to 50 milliliters or like two tablespoons of, of oil at a time while continuously mixing it to incorporate the oil into the combined egg yolks um, it's a slow start slow again i mean a minute until the the initial emulsion is created and then we just build on it if you do rush it throughout the entire process you will end up with uh, the emulsion not being able to absorb all of the glut of oil that you're going to dump on it 
and that's gonna just split the mayo and it's a wasted batch uh, it's almost impossible to recover or to fix a mayo or an emulsion that has split it's almost impossible trust me oh uh, and make sure that you spin the mayo only one way which is clockwise or you will be cursed for seven years uh, with bad luck and your nose hair will grow exponentially each day so basically you're gonna be zizi top from your nose nah just just a superstition uh, old wives tales I grew up with uh, that basically all the women in my family when they were making mayo for whatever celebration or <laughs> event uh, they always had the superstition that whenever you make mayo you only need to turn the mayo or or mix the mayo clockwise otherwise it's going to split uh, the food is going to be disgusting and everybody's going to hate it and you're not going to be considered a good uh, cook and all of that stuff but hey maybe there's something to that uh, superstition but i've mixed my mayos both clockwise and anti-clockwise and nothing happened uh, i'm still alive hopefully a meteor shower is not going to come now and uh, destroy me because of all the mayo batches that i've done anti-clockwise um, i just wanted to to share that because it's it's a funny thing that i grew up with i think at the end of the day the mayo doesn't care as long as you feed it oil uh, and you keep feeding it oil but if there's some science behind um, mixing mayo or any emulsion uh, in a specific direction as to not to split uh, you guys let me know in the comments give me some science behind it because i would really like to learn or uh, educate myself if the women in my family had something um, behind their superstition or they were just full of bs like all the lies that we were told as kids uh, the stories that I have for you. When you get close to having the amount of mayo that you desire, this is the moment to add a teaspoon of lemon juice to the mayo and continue mixing it. Uh, this will make the mayo a bit more tangy. As I said, this will make the mayo a bit more soft and will also change the color of it. It's gonna make it more light in color. If you've used some uh, good quality eggs, uh, I'm not gonna go into this rabbit hole. You know what that means then your mayo initially is going to be quite orange or dark in color you know but while or after you add the lemon juice you will um, lose a couple of shades of that uh, orange yellow stuff and it's going to become more uh, close to cream color after this initial introduction of the lemon juice to the mayo uh, you can keep adding oil lemon juice oil lemon juice until you you get the amount of mayo that you need for your projects for your um, dishes uh, just keep tasting it as you get to that finish line because you don't want to make it too sour or tangy you know the lemon juice uh, the main purpose of the lemon juice is to make it uh, to have the consistency that's easy to work with and that's gonna you know give the creaminess that you need to a salad to whatever you're gonna use the mayo for and you're done uh, and no matter if you use the wooden spoon or you've done it by hand mixer you just made probably i don't know maybe your first batch of homemade mayo congratulations now i use this uh, homemade mayo as i would use the store-bought mayo um, primarily i use it for dishes like i don't know potato salad eggplant salad and spread and less for sauces just because um it doesn't have the shelf life or um, the sh uh, shelf stability as the store-bought mayo you know at best it lasts for three to five days in the fridge and some people will gonna say wow well, that's the downside of homemade mayo well yeah but at the same time you've done it in five minutes it's fresh now you know how to do it so instead of going to the shop and buying that uh, mayo that uh, you know lasts for one year so only God and the companies that make it know what's inside of it so that a product that's based on uh, oil and um, powdered eggs and whatever is gonna last for one year think about it you know like just take one second and let that sink in still I hope you liked the video you found it useful and uh, 
let me know in the comments how your first batch of homemade mayo uh, ended up and what you used it for i'm really curious to see what uh, people from all over the world use mayo for um, is it sauces is it dishes is it um, uh, some traditional uh, cooking methods or dishes that i've never heard about just educate me in the comments i really love food <laughs> and i really love to learn about food from from many different cultures that being said um now it's your turn you know like subscribe share it's free uh, it doesn't cost you anything uh, but it helps me and the channel and all of that you know typical youtube <laughs> bs stuff that I want I don't really want to say but I have to say because apparently if you don't say it people don't do it so here we go I did it and before I forget just share this video with anybody you know because I'm curious to find out finally if um, spinning the mayo only clockwise uh, has something some substance to do with it or if I go anti-clockwise six hellhounds are gonna come from hell and take me to the depths of all darkness and I will die there for all eternity bye And that's a wrap, Vinny.